Hi, I'm Martha Wash, and I think you remember me from It's Raining Men. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Profiles is coming up next. Welcome to Profiles, I'm Desi Sanchez. This week's guest is singer Martha Wash, perhaps best known for her 1982 mega hit, It's Raining Men, that she recorded with the Weather Girls. 25 years later, It's Raining Men can still be heard on the radio all over the world, as well as on Broadway as part of the soundtrack within the hit musical Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. After a short break, we'll join our host, Mickey Burns, as he welcomes the popular Martha Wash to Profiles. Welcome back to Profiles, I'm Desi Sanchez. Besides its reigning men, Martha Wash has lent her booming vocals to dozens of hits, most uncredited. Such was the case with her lead vocals on CNC Music Factory's Everybody Dance Now and on Everybody Everybody by Black Box. Fed up with vocal exploitation, Martha's courtroom efforts have spurred legislation, making vocal credits mandatory on CDs and music videos. So let's join our host, Mickey Burns, as he welcomes legendary singer Martha Wash to Profiles. Martha Wash, welcome to our show, Profiles. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. I've been a big fan of yours for a long time, and of course you are known as The Voice, and for good reason. Okay. And for good reason. <laughs> and most of our viewers, I'm sure, will remember you. Uh, for your 1982 mega hit, It's Raining Men. Yes. And what surprises me about that tune is I hear it on the radio all the time. I hear it a lot and I just kind of laugh and keep on walking. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, was, uh, that must have been fun making that. It was. It was. All right. Well, I, I did want to say in the 80s and, and 90s, just to backtrack a little bit, uh, because you have such an interesting story, uh, your vocals uh, were part of dozens of hits some credited, we need, I did want to go over this, and some uncredited. In fact, your courtroom efforts uh, have spurred legislation uh, making vocal credits mandatory on compact discs and music videos. Am I correct there? Yes. Yes. Uh, you'd probably have to credit my attorney <laughs> more than me, but yes. And it was a long-term process? It took a couple of years. Well, let's backtrack a little bit for our viewers that may not be familiar uh, as to what led up to that, okay? Because two of your uncredited top hits were Everybody, Everybody by Black Box mm -hmm. and, and Sweat, better known as Everybody Dance Now, and uh, that, that became one of the biggest hooks uh, of the decade. Correct. Everybody Dance Now. Correct. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, Go, Mickey. <laughs> but, but, by CC Music Factory. Uh, and in these cases, your voice was the hook right. that made these songs hits. Right. However, uh, you were uncredited mm -hmm. and did not receive the proper amount of royalties. Mm -hmm. uh, and is that is that true? Uh, at that time, that was true. Basically, hired as a subcontractor. Actually, I was in there to. Um, um, uh, do it as a demo for somebody oh. else. The song was, a, was for somebody else. I went in there to do it as a demo. You laid down the track. Exactly. And they realized that your voice was better than anybody else they could come up with. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Now, I, <laughs> I have to ask you this. Is it true that your riff on Everybody Dance Now was uh, lip sync by a female model, which I think it was? Okay, for, for uh, Everybody Dance Now, that was lip synced by Zelma Davis. Okay. Whether she was a model or not, I don't Could know. Could she sing? Yes, yeah, Zelma can sing. Well, why didn't they use her voice? That I don't know. Is it also true that, they ex that you felt they excluded you as most felt because of your size? I didn't know that the whole thing was going on until I saw the video on TV. I, I didn't know anything had happened. You're as kidding far as me. The no, the video... I saw the video for the first time and knew about the video when I saw it on TV in my hotel room <laughs> as I was getting ready to do a show somewhere. And how did you feel? I just stood there with my mouth hung open. I said, I don't believe this. And uh, called my manager. Uh, he was in another room and told him what I saw. Right. And uh, they 
uh, he called their management and, you know, like, what's going on? Why are you doing this? You know, and it went back and forth for a while. And we said, you can't do this because right, something's wrong. People, here. people know my voice. Um, because I've been around for a while <laughs> say, by that time anyway. Yeah. So we, we had to take some legal action about that. As everything turned, it took a while for that to uh, be resolved. I'm sure. It all worked itself out. It did work itself on out. On both sides and uh, wound up recording another CD with them and going out on the road with them. All right, so your relationship with CC Music Factory yeah. uh, was good for your career. Yes.